Biochemical Basis and Treatment of Neuroblastoma. In our video, we hope to explain what neuroblastoma is in order to highlight recent progress in understanding and treating the cancerous disease. Neuroblastoma is an extracranial cancer that arises from the developing sympathetic nervous system. The disease begins with a mutation of pluripotent neuroblastic precursor stem cells in the neural crest, which subsequently proliferate and give rise to tumors. This disease primarily affects infants and young children. Current research suggests that certain types of neuroblastoma may result from germline mutations in the gene that codes for anaplastic lymphoma kinase, or ALK, which plays a role in the development of nerve cells and may be a tractable therapeutic target. This model shows anaplastic lymphoma kinase and its catalytic protein kinase domain. Secondary structures in this domain include 1. a glycine-rich ATP binding loop, shown in red, 2. a catalytic loop, shown in blue, and 3. an activation segment, shown in purple, all of which help stabilize and bind ATP via salt bridge formation and hydrophobic interactions. Within the protein kinase domain are two residues of interest, arginine 1275 and phenylalanine 1174. In normal anaplastic lymphoma kinase, both of these residues contribute to an autoinhibitory conformation of the protein that prevents excessive ATP binding and receptor phosphorylation. This is similar to a negative feedback mechanism. However, in patients with familial neuroblastoma, a high percentage of missense mutations have been found within these residues. Either arginine 1275 has been found mutated to glutamine or phenylalanine 1174 to leucine. Either mutation disrupts the autoinhibitory conformation of anaplastic lymphoma kinase and, therefore, more ATP can bind. This increases receptor phosphorylation and activates secondary messenger pathways that lead to unrestrained cell growth. The anaplastic lymphoma kinase gene is only ever highly expressed during embryogenesis, so our knowledge of its specific biochemical pathway in mammals is limited. Two proposed ligands that may activate anaplastic lymphoma kinase in mammals are pleiotrophin, PTN, and midkine, MK. There are several proposed signal transduction pathways for anaplastic lymphoma kinase, and we will present one of them, the MAP kinase pathway. Once pleiotrophin and midkine bind to ALK, it dimerizes, after which, if ATP binds, signal transduction occurs. After a growth factor binds to anaplastic lymphoma kinase, a signal transduction cascade occurs involving SOS, RAS, BRAF, MEK, and ERK proteins. Ultimately, activated transcription factors travel to the nucleus, where they bind to DNA, causing more gene expression of growth factors, cyclins, and cytokines. This results in cell division and proliferation. If this cascade is unregulated, uninhibited cell growth can occur, causing tumor formation and cancers, including neuroblastoma. Recently, researchers have been hailing chrysotinib as a breakthrough drug for neuroblastoma. This drug is an anaplastic lymphoma kinase inhibitor and has been shown to reliably shrink or stabilize cancer cells. Chrysotinib entered phase one clinical trials in 2006. Chrysotinib, shown in red, competes with ATP for the anaplastic lymphoma kinase binding site. This competitive inhibition prevents the overexpression of the MAP kinase signaling pathway, which, as previously discussed, would cause unregulated cell growth and ultimately tumor formation. Current research has shown that chrysotinib has different affinities for the different mutations of anaplastic lymphoma kinase. As we showed earlier, there are two possible mutations, one involving arginine 1275 and another involving phenylalanine 1174. In a study conducted on mice, it was determined that mice with arginine 1275 to glutamine mutations responded well to chrysotinib. Tumor size was reduced. In contrast, chrysotinib delayed but didn't prevent tumor growth in mice with the phenylalanine 1174 to leucine mutations. This illustrates that chrysotinib has a higher affinity for the arginine mutation than for the phenylalanine mutation. This is due to the phenylalanine mutation's increased affinity for ATP, which competes with chrysotinib for the binding site. Further opportunities for research into chrysotinib's role in the treatment of neuroblastoma include elucidation of the specifics of its biochemical pathways in mammals, improvement in treating neuroblastoma caused by the chrysotinib-resistant phenylalanine to leucine mutation, and continuation of clinical trials to determine the ideal functional doses of chrysotinib that should be used to effectively treat the disease.